Give peace, O Lord, to those who wait for you, that your prophets be found true. Hear the prayers of your servant and of your people, Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It's the 24th Sunday of the year. Every Sunday is a little Easter Sunday. We celebrate that Jesus is Lord, Jesus is risen, Jesus is with us in the person of the priest, in the, in the people gathered in his name, in the word which we will hear, and in the bread and wine which are consecrated into the body and blood of Jesus our Lord. Because we are sinners, we ask God to be merciful. Lord, have mercy. Amen. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. And we glorify the Holy Trinity as we say the short version. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. The Masses today are offered for Paschal Charles James, whose anniversary is around now, and the Mass is for the people, all the people of our parish, especially in this time of pandemic, of plague. Look upon us, O God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy, grant that we may serve you with all our heart. We make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Resentment and anger, these are foul things, and both are found with a sinner. He who exacts vengeance will experience the vengeance of the Lord, who keeps strict account of sin. Forgive your neighbor the hurt he does you, and when you pray, your sins will be forgiven. If a man nurses anger against another, can he then demand compassion from the Lord? Showing no pity for a man like himself, can he then plead for his own sins? Mere creature of flesh, he cherishes resentment. Who will forgive him his sins? Remember the last things and stop hating. Remember dissolution and death, and live by the commandments. Remember the commandments, and do not bear your neighbor ill will. Remember the covenant of the Most High, and overlook the offense. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is, The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. The, the Lord, Lord is compassion and love, love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. My soul, give thanks to the Lord. All my being, bless his holy name. My soul, give thanks to the Lord, and never forget all his blessings. The, the Lord, Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. It is he who forgives all our guilt, 
who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. His wrath will come to an end. He will not be angry forever. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The life and death of each of us has its influence on others. If we live, we live for the Lord. And if we die, we die for the Lord. So that, alive or death, we belong to the Lord. This explains why Christ both died and came to life. It was so that he might be the Lord, both of the dead and of the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's stand up for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. Almighty God, Cleanse my heart and my lips so that I may be worthy to proclaim your holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. This is a reading from the holy gospel according to Matthew. Peter went up to Jesus and said, Lord, how often must I forgive my brother if he wrongs me? As often as seven times? Jesus answered, not seven, I tell you, but 77 times. And so the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who had decided to settle his accounts with his servants. When the reckoning began, they brought him a man who owed 10,000 talents but he had no means of paying. So his master gave orders that he should be sold together with his wife and children and all his possessions to meet the debt. At this, the servant threw himself down at his master's feet. Give me time, he said, and I will pay the whole sum. And the servant's master felt so sorry for him that he let him go and cancelled the debt. Now, as this, as this servant went out, he happened to meet a fellow servant who owed him 100 denarii. And he seized him by the throat and began to throttle him. Pay, you what, pay what you owe me, he said. His fellow servant fell at his feet and implored him, saying, Give me time and I will pay you. But the other would not agree. On the contrary, he had him thrown into prison till he should pay all the debt. His fellow servants were distressed when they saw what had happened. And they went to their master and reported the whole affair to him. Then the master sent for him, you wicked servant, he said, I cancelled all that debt of yours when you appealed to me. Were you not bound then to have pity on your fellow servant, just as I had pity on you? And in his anger, the master handed him over to the torturers till he should pay all his debt. And that is how my heavenly Father will deal with you unless you, for, you each forgive your brother from your heart. 
the Gospel of the Lord. reading Matthew's Gospel this year, um, year A, Matthew, then next year Mark, and the following year Luke, and so on, back, back again. And um, in the beginning of Matthew's Gospel, you, you have, if you like, the state of the union, the state of the kingdom uh, statement, what's called the Sermon on the Mount, and it begins with the, the seven Beatitudes. Blessed are the poor, blessed are the sad, blessed are the meek, Blessed are those who promote justice. And the fifth beatitude is, Blessed are the merciful, they shall receive mercy. In other words, blessed are those who forgive, they will be forgiven. And the gospel that we've just listened to is a dramatic illustration of that beatitude, blessed are those who forgive, they will be forgiven. And it's, it, Jesus tells the story with, with a touch of humor and a touch of irony. Uh, the humor, I suppose, is seen in the extraordinary exaggeration. On the one hand, the man owed, owed, owed gazillions of money, I mean, 10,000 talents. You could build a railway from London to Scotland and have a little change for beer for the boys. Or you could build the Trident submarine and you'd have change also um, if with 10,000 talents. It's a huge amount of money, an unspeakable amount. And in, in contrast with that, you, you have a few weeks wages at 100 denarii. So the contrast is humorous, but it's also exaggerating to make a point the gap between the, the, the two deaths. And, and then the second, the bit of irony, I suppose, in the story is that th this chap who just got off uh, a tough sentence and his family and every, a, a lot of them are sold into slavery, and, and uh, he didn't even have the cop on to hear that his own words have, mercy, have patience and I will pay you everything, he, reflected and repeated by, the, by his fellow servant. Uh, and he just, doesn't, he just doesn't have either the hearing or the imagination. There's the irony there um, that we're so good, as uh, Jesus said elsewhere, the people who see the speck in their brother's eye and can't see the, the plank in their own eye. It's a kind of a, an exaggeration to make the point. And the point being made is, of course, that God in Jesus offers us forgiveness. Here and now, we are forgiven, we are loved sinners, but there's a condition. If we're to avail of that forgiveness, we too must be forgiving. We too must forgive those who we feel real or imagined that, we, uh, that they have injured us. Um, and Jesus told that parable, that story, I suppose to shame people who he saw were inclined to hold grudges, bear those injuries, with bitterness, and he was trying to stir up their consciences a bit. That was 2,000 years ago, but when we read the gospel today, it's not just reading a book from 2,000 years ago, it's because of the mass, because of what we are, we, we believe that Jesus is risen, Jesus is speaking this parable to us today. Blessed are those who forgive, they will be forgiven. The emphasis is not so much on our own personal sins, the emphasis is on our, the command that we have to forgive, to be reconciled, to be reunited with those who have offended us. We pray each day, forgive us our trespasses, just as we forgive those who trespass against us.
Let's stand now and profess our faith. We say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. You might like to sit down for the offertory. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. <coughs> Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept these, your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent as a Redeemer, uh, you sent your, your Son as a Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have, we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it 
to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Jesus told us, taught us to pray. He said, when you pray, say this, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Amen. And we cannot reach out, but we can bow to one another and wish us each other peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, may the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not bring me to judgment or condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ.
the blood of Christ. chalice of blessing that we bless is a communion with the, in the blood of Christ and the bread that we break is a sharing in the body of the Lord. Just for a moment or two as I give thanks for having received communion you prepare yourself to be a receptor of the body, blood, soul and divinity of Christ our Lord. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth to announce the gospel of the Lord. <laughs>